Today on the King of Random, we're gonna find out if it's possible to carbonate beverages using the chemical reaction of baking soda and vinegar. And then we're gonna carbonate a few things that probably shouldn't be carbonated, like milk. This is a very common and popular little science experiment that people do. You just take some vinegar into the baking soda and it foams up, but what it's doing is it's creating carbon dioxide in that reaction. And we're gonna try and put that into some drinks. So carbon dioxide is heavier than air, which means it's gonna sit inside this glass. And just to prove that it is creating carbon dioxide, if I can get this match to light, if I lower this match into the glass, the match will go out because it's full of carbon dioxide and there won't be oxygen for it to burn. Now before we get too far in the video, we should probably go over this science, find how carbonation actually works and how these bubbles get into your drink. And it's easier if I just show you. So obviously we know if we go, actually I'll pull the label off of this so we can see it better. Obviously we all know how carbonated drinks work. When we release the top of one of these, all of these bubbles are released. All those bubbles are carbon dioxide, also known as CO2, which is dissolved into the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and carbonate some water right here in front of you. I'm probably gonna spill it all over the table. This is just regular water, which I'm pouring into a bottle that held carbonated water before. And that's important because you wanna make sure it's a bottle that can hold the pressure of the carbonation, not say a really cheap thin plastic water bottle. You want something that's a bit thicker. Now ideally you wanna use cold water because the colder the water is, the better it carbonates. I have no idea why. So I'm going to stick on this cap, which I've modified with a bike valve going through it nothing complicated. And then I have a little CO2 bike pump that I'm going to attach to that. This is a really cheap and fun way to be able to carbonate drinks at home. Just stick a bike valve into a lid. So here's what's about to happen. This, in the handle of this, there's a little cartridge of CO2, pure CO2, that when I release this, it's going to go down inside the bottle and it's gonna mix with the water. And I'll just show you. All right, now we have pressurized that. So the top half of this bottle is pressurized with CO2. If we go ahead and shake this up a little, uh, just to help the gas mix with the water and let it sit there for a bit. You can actually see there's a bunch of little bubbles forming inside. That's one sign that we're getting carbonated. I believe the longer you leave it pressurized, the more carbonated it'll get. So we'll just leave it there for a second. Now what's happening is while it's under pressure of the CO2, the CO2 is actually dissolving into the water. Now, as soon as we take the cap off and we release the pressure, the CO2 will start coming out of the water, which is why if you leave a soda out open over time, it'll become flat. All the CO2 will leave. All right, now the moment of truth, if we go ahead and release this, we should see all the bubbles rise to the top as the pressure releases. Oh, Look that at cool. that. We have carbonated water. I wanna try it. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. That is carbonated water. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty simple project. We don't need much. Hot glue gun, baking soda and vinegar, of course. Got some vinyl tubing, couple of empty bottles. Empty bottles that are rated for CO2 pressure. Soda bottles. Absolutely. We also have our cling wrap a little sandpaper and some water. And whatever drink you want to carbonate. So here's my genius plan, okay? <laughs> we don't want the baking soda and vinegar in the actual drink we drink at the end, which means we need two chambers. We need the chamber with the baking soda and vinegar in it, and then we need a tube piping that out and into the bottom of the chamber we want our actual drink in. So this will be baking soda and vinegar, this will be our actual drink, and the, uh, the carbon dioxide will go through the tube and bubble up inside the drink. So that's the plan. So we're just gonna drill a hole right in the top of this cap, the reason being, as the carbon dioxide is created, it's going to push, it's gonna create pressure and come right out of the top, and then it'll feed into our drink. And we want it on the top, not on the side, because we don't want the actual vinegar seeping through. We want just the Gross. carbon dioxide bubbles. Okay, I think that's a little small, but let's try that. Ooh, is that? that might be a perfect like push fit Sweet. there. Sweet. Yes. You it definitely is. don't want this too large. Yeah, perfect. Nice, well done. Now this is a little bit tricky because we're trying to create an airtight seal. Glue that top as well. This has to be airtight. 
and it's gonna be under a little bit of pressure. So if you don't want vinegar spraying you in the face, make sure you glue it well. I absolutely love these step bits, by the way. They're amazing. Don't have to constantly switch out drill bit sizes. You just keep drilling. He talks about them all the time. I can't <laughs> recommend them enough. They're just wonderful. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and trim our tube down. The exact length doesn't matter. I want to give myself enough where I can actually shake one of the bottles without uh, knocking over the other one. So, how long is this? Two feet? About Something like that. that. Doesn't really matter. Length is arbitrary. We're gonna add a little more glue to this. Not sure how much we need exactly, so we're gonna err on the side of way too much. Go ahead and shove the other end into that hole, like that, and then we'll glue that in. Let's give it a test. Sweet. Tubing up so it doesn't start pouring water out the end of the tube everywhere. Like if I was to have it down here. Once it hits the level of the tube. <laughs> but if I raise it, then it doesn't. Like you just explained, it's perfect. Cool. All right, so we can put this cap on. Then that can get poured full of vinegar. Boom. How much vinegar do we want in here? Enough. <clears throat> so it's a great I don't know, try uh, halfway. Okay, so now we've got to be able to get enough baking soda inside this bottle, but we don't want the reaction to start. Until um, we're ready. Until we are ready. We put the baking soda in the cling wrap. And then when you put it in the bottle, the cling wrap keeps it from act, reacting to the vinegar until you shake it up and then the cling wrap kind of comes apart. But you have to be able to get it through the, the hole in the bottle. It's like a time delay. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. You're just saying what I'm saying. All right, Let's see if you can shove that down there. Yep. Um, and then we can twist the bottle on. Beautiful. Okay, so we're set. Now what I'll do is I'll grab this and I'll start shaking it and that should mix the baking soda Here. and vinegar. The CO2 will go up and bubble through. I'll hold this still. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. <laughs> a shake, give it a shake. I don't know if it's doing anything. It is a little bit. A little bit. The other thing is I don't want to be too violent with my shaking because I don't want too much vinegar to get look. into our drink. Oh, look. It's bubbling. Shake it's it more. Working. We're getting some CO2. Here it comes. That's fun. Because this, it is reacting, but it's reacting very slowly. Oh, you squeeze it. Yeah, I'm a little. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it poured water back in. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. So you can see how the gas is starting to push just slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's working. Not, it is working, but it's working too slowly. The cling wrap isn't coming apart fast enough. Well, I, as long as it keeps working, like it's gonna keep pushing into here. More bubbles. It's working, Jake, look. Look how great okay, that is. That is working now. Oh, that's awesome. So this was your idea, so you get to explain Okay. It. So what we've done here is we just took a paper towel and we poured the baking soda in just like we did before. I just folded up the end and taped it in a couple of spots so that it's not gonna immediately fall open. It should give us enough of a delay. But the top is open. The top is yeah. wide open. And it'll seep through. There's no way this won't work. I sounded confident don't, don't before the last one Don't say that. <laughs> All right, Fine. here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? I hope so. See, it's already working. Nice. This is great. Yep, right, tight, that's great. Tight, all right. Nice and okay. snug, here we go. Holy goodness. Look, it's already, it's already working. Like we're not even doing anything and it's- Yeah. It's the water seeping through is Little creating little, enough of a reaction. A oh, look at that. Whoa, oh, that's, yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's what we've been missing. Oh no, oh no, it's foaming too much. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we're doing good. Feel how uh, pressurized the bottle is so. though. Oh, that's way better way than last better. That's time. That's actually. Yeah, that's doing something. 
And look at that, it's continuously bubbling. It hasn't That's stopped yet. Fantastic. And no leaks. This is so we're, much we're better. Still snug. So much better. No leaks anywhere yet. Okay. okay. <laughs> this looks like it worked. <laughs> it's been a minute. This is like super pressurized. Um, so there's definitely plenty of CO2 in here. So this should work. This should have worked. Let's open it and find what out. What does it taste like? Get a cup. Okay. I'm gonna crack it. I'm gonna crack it open slowly because I don't slowly. want it to explode in my face. I'm very excited to see this. Please, please work. Well, that's fun. Huh? Letting all the pressure out. So yep. All the pressure is coming yep. from there yep. too. That's neat. Oh, look at that. Yep, that look, look at all those bubbles. That's doing it too. <laughs> so yeah, we've we carbonated the vinegar we've as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that'll taste amazing. That's legit. I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited. I think there's like a hint of vinegar in the background, but it's so light that like it's it's not bad. Yeah, and carbonated water already kind of tastes a little acidic. Yeah, it's itself. got a little zing to it. That's I kind of actually like that. Okay. It's mostly because we made it though. It's I wouldn't not like it otherwise. Super carbonated. It's enough. It's but it is carbonated. Feels like a little little bit flat. It needs to taste better. We need flavors, Jake. But that's carbonated water. That worked. Okay. Let's carbonate some weird stuff. Here we got a few more things that we're gonna try carbonating. Coffee, milk, orange juice, coconut water, and lemonade. Let's get it. Which one should we do first? Lemonade. All right, let's go ahead and load some of our lemonade into the second chamber. Yep, that's good. <laughs> Will it continue to be? Probably not. It smells good. But that's acidic, so we definitely won't taste any vinegar. Huh. If there is any, that's good. Okay. We're just gonna put that in there. Here, you wanna go ahead and cap this. Loading our second cartridge. Boom. Carbonated lemonade. I'm ready for this. And we're already bubbling. There we go. That's fantastic. Nice and tight. Give a little swirl. Speed up the process. Patience. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. All right. That's fun every time. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. That vinegar gets super carbonated. <laughs> really cool. The, okay, let's go. What's on this side? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if that got as carbonated. Maybe? I don't think it did. Here, you can have some more. Ah. Not as. Mm -hmm. It's still a different experience. This is not normal lemonade. No. It tastes more lemonade -y. It It does. <laughs> it's like double the lemonade. Okay. Orange juice. But we want to do something different instead of the paper towel and wrapping the baking soda in something. We're curious what happens if we just pour it directly in and then screw the bottle closed real and fast. hope we're fast enough. And hope we're fast enough. And uh, see if that like helps the drink to get more carbonated so we don't have to keep shaking this up constantly. I don't know, just gonna try and see what happens. Well, trying to dump the baking soda directly into the vinegar was a complete failure. So we've gone great. back to <laughs> This plan, we've got a lot more baking soda in this though, so we're really hoping we get a good amount of carbonation for our orange juice. Shove it down, there we go. Okay, there we go. Keeps wanting to cross thread for some reason. I love this uh, time delay that it gives us. Yeah, it's like the perfect amount of time delay. Tight, tight, I'm satisfied. That's amazing. I mean, the vinegar is definitely carbonating. It is so rock solid. We're I gonna think blow that's our seals. the most pressure. It is. Oh it's, look, it's starting to leak it's now. It's starting to leak out. Yeah, we're gonna blow our seals. <laughs> it shot out that way. It was awesome. <laughs> Just go for it. Well, <laughs> well now that. you've released all the carbonation. I had so much fun. Look at that. 
Now it's gonna be flat. <laughs> oh, no, 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 the vinegar's getting in. Pour it, pour it. It's too late. I might have ruined that, but I had a great time. Mmm. <laughs> I can't tell. Can't, can't taste any vinegar because it's orange juice. Okay, and here we are trying Jake's favorite drink. A little iced coffee. coffee. Woohoo. That's Let's gonna be how. weird. I'm all for it. I love how fast this one is. This one's way quick. It works ridiculously well. Without that vinegar flavor. <laughs> it's so frothy. Like there's no way of releasing it without this happening. <laughs> it looks really cool though. Oh, that's definitely carbonated. <laughs> that's it's like, all froth. <laughs> that's amazing. It turns to froth. You need a straw. It's just foam. For I need coffee. a straw. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> the closest thing I compare it to is a root beer float. It's the I think it's something about like the milk and cream mixing with uh, the carbonation. Hmm. It's not bad. <laughs> it's fine. Last one. I'm gonna see how the milk does. <laughs> I'm predicting it's gonna do the same crazy foaming thing that the coffee did. <laughs> All right. All right. Blowing that's. Back out, yeah. All right. Let's you slowly release are a masochist. it. Slowly. That really, okay, that's not foaming too bad. It, it, it isn't. So I wonder if it was the cream in the coffee. This is just milk, no cream, so. Okay. It's also impossible to see bubbles in it. That is true. Let's see if it actually carbonated. It, that doesn't, it's, it's frothy. Look at that. Okay, a little, okay, no, there is froth. So we definitely did carbonate it. Oh. Why? Oh, gosh dang it, why? That's worse than coconut water. That's so bad. <laughs> I did not imagine it being that hideous. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, I'm questioning our judgment. Oh, that's, what does that that's taste like? terrible. That's so weird. That's like... It's like the slight acidic kind of bite of the CO2. <sighs> makes me think that this milk has like turned a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it, it, it really seems like it's just rotten, like nasty. It's like halfway between milk and yogurt. <laughs> and, and not a good halfway. It's, <laughs> ah. <laughs> and it's well, just wrong. The exciting. texture's all wrong. Okay, now we know. Well, hopefully you learned from our mistakes. This was kind of a ridiculous video. We had a great time doing it though. <laughs> and remember, I'm still let just the wrong. random happen. <laughs> it stopped. It's oh. like, Dang it, dang it, no! It's threading wrong. <laughs> it's not gonna work. No, we Because that's the reaction, that. it's already we gone. We gotta do that again.